Hey familia, so today we are going to go movie hunting at Goodwill. Alright, so we are here at the movie section, so let's see what they have. And I see this right away. Yellow beard. I have never heard of this, but it does have a uh, Cheech Marine and Tommy Chong. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested in this. Let's keep looking. I found a chef. Uh, I don't really see anything that I need or want. I have most of this stuff already. The crazy nights. That would be cool because I know the Blu-ray is like crazy expensive. I miss this. A, a Star Trek steelbook. But it does have some scratches and dents, unfortunately. Alright, got first season of Real Monsters. I think I have that one already though, so. What is South Pacific? Rogers and Hammerstein South Pacific. Kicking it old school. Love this one, but I do have that one already. Not another teen movie. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's a Dumb and Dumber 2 film collection. That's actually not that bad. I have only the first one, I think. Um, not sure. Milo and Otis, my goodness. What is this? A plum summer? No idea what that is. What else we got? We got some Star Trek. Friday Night Lights. Um, Bob the Butler. What is this? Has Tom Green. Interesting. All right, next row. Megamind, Button of Doom. I don't know what that is. I've seen Megamind, though. Uh, let's see. What else is there? See Scarface, Moby Dick, The Mask, Son of the Mask. I have that set. Um, the Passion of Bernadette. What in the world is that? Twelve Dogs of Christmas. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Should I? All right, moving along. Walking tall. Her, what is this? Uh, persecuted. Little women. Drumline. Regarding Henry. With Harrison Ford. The Invisible Man. Which I have already. Social Network. That's a Blu-ray. Which I have. Yeah, All right. Got Forever Young, and it's a snapper with Mel Gibson. I've actually never seen this, never even heard of it, so maybe. What else we got here? Walk to Remember, I have that. The Adams Family. What is, no, Amadeus Hat, not the Adams Family. Uh, what's new Scooby-Doo, season two. Hollow Man. Ooh, that's kind of a cool addition, which I already have, so what is this? Strip tease. Ha. Demi Moore. And it's a snapper. All right. The Jackal got collateral beauty. What the heck is Bakita? Bakita. I don't know what that is. All right. Insane Girl Next Door. Bloodsport. Got some seasons of Dexter here. Um, let's see. Brother Bear, Monsters, Inc. Aragon. I love the slip on this. Uh, Christmas Story. What is this? Oh, Artificial Intelligence. What is Cream? Royal Albert Hall. Interesting. And we got some Three Stooges here. Picture Perfect. Jennifer Aniston and Kevin Bacon. Alright, so I'm not really seeing anything here that I need. Curb Your Enthusiasm, complete first season. I've never heard of this show. National Security. A Twist of the Wrist to the World. 
Is this like a like a motocross type film or something? I don't know. All right, we got some 30 Rock up there, and let's see what else. Crank, Ghost World, Heroes. Okay. We got here Benny and June Patton. Well, that's actually kind of nice. Got some Arrested Development, Rizzoli and Isles, uh, Polaroid, Game of Thrones. They have these that are pretty cool. Uh, this Ocean Alive, uh, Kingdom of the Coral Reef. You get like a five DVD set in this tin. And then this uh, Star Wars trilogy is, is actually kind of a cool little slip case. Got Ghost of Mars right here. That's a good one. Uh, hairspray. What is this? Conan. Age of, this is a video game, so getting into some video games here. And now into the Blu-rays, let's see what I don't have. Uh, how funny, I have this on DVD, but I don't know if I should get it on Blu-ray, because it's like part of a set. Got some mid-90s, If I Stay, I know I need to upgrade this one, so that's probably coming home with me happening I'm gonna have to check and see if I upgraded this already or not in time highly underrated uh, made of honor do I have this one Patrick Dempsey not sure I'm legend just go with it love happens Robin Hood big hero what's your number Star Wars uh, swordfish shut face no flipping way I've been looking for this like forever so I'm actually surprised to see that they have more blu-rays and stuff here today um, ooh, big fish two guns moonstruck what is this Superman the movie John Wick Peter Pan bad Santa What else we got? Dinosaur, Domino. I just got Domino too. Monuments Men. This is 40. Wyatt Earp. Got some Weed Season 1. Let's see Deadpool. Then some more DVDs down here. Got another one of those uh, Star Wars trilogies. Got Heroes, Die Hard Collection, Sopranos. All right, so they do have this other section over here, but it's a pain in the butt to go through to like share with you guys. So I did pull some titles that look kind of interesting that I'm gonna show you guys. So we got All You Got, or yeah, All You've Got. This one, I've never heard of this, but it looked kind of interesting. Beck, Mongolian something squad, chop squad, and I dropped a movie. This look kind of fun. Shorts, The Adventures of Wishing Rock. Got World of Warcraft. Loaded. You got Jesse Metcalf in this one. All right, I'm still getting this. It's a snapper. It's the Music Man. I love the Music Man. Even though I have this on Blu-ray already, definitely getting the snapper. You know me. Got this little 10 movie action pack here. We got some Terry Fader live from Las Vegas. Uh, Californication, never heard of this, season one. Got Kitchen Stories. And then there's these couple here, Farscape. I'm not familiar with this. I'm not sure if there's like a show or like a movie series or what, but got those. So anyways, that is it for this location. On to location number two. All right, so we're gonna be heading into location number two. All right, so we are at location two. Um, got a bunch of Xbox, Wii games, stuff like that. Bunch of seasons here. We got Entourage, Frasier, Season X Files, Golden Girls, um, House. I wish they had season eight because that's the only one I'm missing. We got Soap, um, some more Frasier, Sex in the City. We got more House down here, Gilmore Girls, Seinfeld, see some True Blood, Deadwood. All right, short people problems. So if you guys can see. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to show you guys the titles up here. I don't really see any that I need. Pretty much have everything. Um, what all is this? I don't know what this is. 
like CDs, audiobooks, I don't know. So we got some Blu-rays. I'm surprised here too that they have a pre pretty decent amount of Blu-rays. Um, not seeing anything right now that I need. Pretty much have everything. Got some Walking Dead. And then they have this, but it's like totally like crushed up there. So um, but yeah, it looks like we got a lot of actual uh, like Disney stuff here and whatnot. Down here, SpongeBob Christmas. Uh, I don't remember if I got this one already or not. I'm gonna have to check. Home Alone. What is this? The Strain. The complete first season. Uh, going the distance. Paper Towns. The American with George Clooney. Zero Dark Thirty. Oh, this is one I keep passing by. I don't know. I've heard good things about it. Got Lincoln, Green Zone, All right? We got Jack Frost here and uh, Singing in the Rain, Factory Sealed. I did have this edition. Year of the Dog. What's this? Year of the Dog. I can't get that back in there. Uh, New Girl. What is the New Girl? Oh, a complete first season. I've never heard of that show. Uh, four film romantic comedy. I have this set. What else we got? The Legend of Zorro, Platoon, Kite Runner, William and Mary, Beaches. Hmm, not really. What is this? At Eternity's Gate. Okay, this is one I've actually been wanting to see, but uh, I do know that that has a Blu-ray release. Game 6, Masked and Anonymous. What is this? What is Say It Ain't So? Heather Graham, Chris Klein. Uh, Best of Monk. Paycheck. I kind of forgot about that one. Then we got Beavis and Butthead, Buttoween, and Beavis and Butthead do Christmas. All right, what else we got? Swim Fan, this is highly underrated. Love this one. Racing Stripes, this one too. It's a fun movie, I like it. Um, just Where I Belong, Florence Henderson. Not familiar with that. Jesse Stone, oh, uh, Thin Ice. Um, no strings attached, blood ties, Kay Hooper, okay, Philomena, what is this Born Into Brothers, don't know, Hitman, Baby Mama, so we got Closer, Calendar Girls, I don't think I've seen this one. Uh, beginning banjo. <laughs> I don't know how to play the banjo. Yeah. Alright, so really not seeing much that I need. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, another excellent adventure. Um, yeah, nothing down here that I need. Alright, see An American in Paris with Gene Kelly. What else we got? What is this? Uh, Eagles, Farewell, live from Melbourne tour. City of God. Is that based on a true story? Is that Halle Berry? Almost looks like Halle Berry, but no. So I don't know what that is. Um, let's see what else we got. Hoosiers, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Uh, even Cowgirls. Get the Blues with Uma Thurman. We've got Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny. Crazy Beautiful. Let's see Narnia. What is this? It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We've got Jaws. Can't go wrong with Jaws. What is, which version is this? Oh, it's the cartoon of Alice in Wonderland. Polar Bear Alcatraz. Oh, I thought it was going to be something different, but Polar Bears. Uh, extreme Ops. Don't know what that is. Flash Dance. American Western. Uh, four or five, no, four movies over five hours. 
in and out. Kevin Klein backup plan. What else we got? Amistad, great movie. Uh, Memoirs of a Geisha. What is this? Dismurfin? What? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Escape to Witch Mountain. Oh, it's the uh, the original too. All right, what we got? We got Coyote Summer. I feel like I've heard of this one. Oh, it has, um, what is her name? Uh, Vanessa Shaw from uh, Hocus Pocus. Got this one here with David Arquette, RPM. Famke Jensen's also in here. What else we got? We got, oh, anybody wanna learn how to salsa? Uh, men seeking women. What is this? Cherry Crush, Nikki Re. oh, okay. Uh, Heaven's Door. Who's that? Uh, we got this Girls' Night 8 movie collection here. What is this? Oh, Princess Bride. Highlander 2. The ma Oh no, The Music Man. Okay. Next of Kin. Alright, we got a snapper here. The Power of One. I'm not familiar with that one, so we'll see. Um, Jesse Stone, No Remorse. What is this? Across the Tracks. Oh, I can't remember if I've seen this one or not. Oh, Perks and Recreation. What is this? Uh, Four Weddings and a Funeral. Wimbledon. Strange, but it's so funny that I find this today because I just got it the other day. Let's get real. A powerful documentary where youth speak up about name calling and bullying. Got yeah, Vertical Limit, the Joy Luck Club, Ratatouille. All right, what else we got here? Uh, the Soloist, Little Bit, Lime Life. I don't know what this is. Lime Life. Alec Baldwin's in it. Um, another Music Man snapper. Like, really? <laughs> um, Cloudy and the Chance of Meatballs. Alright, moving along. Got the Marksman. This is a Saint Rita. Um, fireproof. What is this? El Castor, all the beaver. Okay, what is this? The Battle of Shaker Heights. We got Shia LaBeouf and Amy Smart. The Project Greenlight movie. Huh. Interesting. Got some Seasons of Angel. What else we got here? Chihuly Shortcuts. What is that? It's like that uh, glass blown art, whatever. What a girl wants. Nobody's fool. Paul Newman. We got Spy. Got a lot of interesting titles here. There's this Lord Peter Whims Whimsy. Birdcage. What is this? That, uh, okay, for a movie collection here Captain Underpants, El Dorado, Puss in Boots, Sinbad. Let It Rain. I don't know what that is. Um, what a sexy beast. Got Ben Kingsley. Let's see what it says. Ben Kingsley is the most savage mad dog frothing gangster in recent movies. Okay. Alright. Moving along. What else we got here? The Hunting of the President. I don't know what that is. Long came a spider. John Wayne. The ultimate collection. What else? A lot of Transformers. Shao Hao. Okay, urban country. Oh, what is this? 
Oh, the world is not enough. Stigmata. Ooh, I should probably get this if it's in good condition. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, seven keys. Don't know what that is. Half Nelson. Firewall. Just cause. Do I have this one? I don't think. I don't know. I'll have to check on that one. Um, taxi. Uh, let's see what else. Dances with wolves. What is this one? Okay, this is like that one set that I saw at the other store, but this is When Weather Changed History. You get uh, five DVDs in it. It's that cool, like, tin case. Mandela. Some country stuff. Man of the House. Another stigmata. Oh, okay. Got Alias. Buffy. What else we got? Mm -hmm. call killing season. The touch of monk. Oh, mink. The touch of mink. Cary Grant, Doris Day. All right, so it's been a little busy over here in the movie section. So there's a couple of shelves that I didn't really get to show you guys just because it's a little bit crowded. But anywho, um, I went ahead and pulled just uh, some titles that I thought were pretty cool. So you got this Denzel Washington collection with Inside Man, Hurricane, Bone Collector, Mo Better Blues. Um, not bad, really, and factory sealed, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else. Got this film here called The Chum Scrubber. Looks interesting. I don't know. We got this uh, Schoolhouse Rock. I vaguely remember this show. At least I think it was a show. Yeah, there's like a bunch of different episodes on it. We got uh, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, John Wayne. Amos and Andrew. I know this has a Blu-ray release, but I thought that was cool to see that. Uh, this looks interesting. Sports bloopers from baseball and basketball. It's volume number one. Um, so, you know, if you're like into the whole bloopers kind of thing and stuff, so... Could be interesting, could be fun. Got this uh, baseball movie here called Sugar. And a four uh, wedding collection, Monster-in-Law, The Wedding Singer, The Bachelor, and The In-Laws. So that's it for today's movie hunting. All right, familia, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little movie hunt. I know the footage is not the best, but it's hard to film one-handed. Um, I did pick up several Blu-rays and several DVDs, a lot more than I was expecting to get. Um, the DVDs, for the most part, a lot of them I didn't see having Blu-ray releases. I know a couple had, like, some imports, and a couple do have, like, a U.S. release, but, you know, I was just super curious about the title and just wanted to check it out beforehand before upgrading. Um, but, yeah, I'm very, very happy with everything that I got. Just lots of interesting titles, lots of blind buys, so... Uh, yeah, I'm filming this for the second time you guys because somehow the first time I managed to permanently delete the video I don't know, but anywho, let's go ahead and get into this So starting off with the blu-rays I did go ahead and upgrade if I stay this was my introduction to Chloe Grace Morris And I absolutely love her you guys. Um, I do enjoy this film quite a bit uh, I wish that they would make a sequel because um, they definitely could. I do know that like the book series, uh, I'm not exactly sure how many books are in it, but I think there might be like two or three, maybe more. I don't know. But yeah, they definitely should do a sequel of this uh, if I stay. I really enjoy that one. Um, next up, I did pick up Maid of Honor. So instead, I was thinking for some reason like the wedding date came into mind um, when I saw this. But no, Maid of Honor, uh, I have not seen this one. So this is new to the collection. Can't wait to check it out. I did go ahead and upgrade Big Fish. I enjoy this one. And then I did upgrade The Happening. Yes, I like this movie, you guys. I know it gets a lot, a lot of hate, but I do enjoy it and I've been wanting to upgrade it. So now I have, I know in store, I showed you guys the one with uh, Mark Wahlberg on the cover, but I decided to go with this one because they had a couple copies. Because this is just the artwork that I'm used to seeing. So uh, we have The Happening. This one, you guys, oh my gosh, I was so freaking stoked when I saw this. I couldn't believe it. Um, Steve Austin in Damage. I've seen this film once and I enjoyed the heck out of it. And I have been on the hunt for this film like ever since. It is a little pricey. So I was just, I was blown away that I actually found this there at Goodwill. So yeah, Damage, I cannot wait to uh, revisit that one. I finally did go ahead and decide to get Zero Dark Thirty. I've just been hearing more things on it, kind of passed on it, you know, time and time again and decided to pull the trigger and finally get it. So I'll be checking that one out. And then the last Blu-ray that I have here is The Monuments Men. It does have the uh, slipcover on it. So yeah, great cast in this one. 
let's move on to the DVDs. So there's quite a bit, like I said, let's start with the snappers. Of course, you know me, I had to get some snappers. I love them. Um, so I did say that I was going to get this one. So I did pick up the music man, even though I do have this on Blu-ray. It's one of my all time favorite musicals and it is factory sealed in the snapper case. And even at the second location, they had a copy in the snapper too, which honestly I was unaware that the music man even came like available in a snapper, but Hey, uh, you know, I got this for the collection to add to the snappers. And then this one I had to get Demi Moore striptease. I've never seen this one, but looking forward to it. And then the last snapper that I got is uh, The Power of One. Now, I just picked this up because it was a snapper. And then afterwards, when I was looking more into it, it's actually a boxing flick, which is pretty cool. So you guys know me. I love my boxing flicks. Um, so we got The Power of One and it has Morgan Freeman. So looking forward to checking this one out. Okay, so next up we have this film here. It's a baseball film called Sugar. Now, I was looking into this one. I mean, I got it because it's baseball and obviously I wanna add more baseball flicks to the collection. I enjoy a good sports film. Um, but I was reading on Google that I guess, cause it says it's an inspirational story, but I wasn't sure if this was actually a true story, which I don't believe that it is um, because Google said that the character Miguel Santos, who this is supposedly about, um, is a fictional character, but that the story wasn't fictional. So I don't know. Uh, but I'm curious about it. I'll definitely check that one out because I do enjoy baseball films. This one I had to get you guys. This is one that does have a Blu-ray release, but I wanted to check it out before upgrading. And I mean, I got this for the simple fact that Cheech and Chong is in this and that is Yellowbeard. Um, it looks like it's going to be a blast because, you know, Cheech and Chong, you cannot go wrong with them. Just they're downright funny. So yeah, I am looking forward to seeing what this is all about. Um, then this one, simply for the title, it just really caught my interest. It's called The Chum Scrubber. It looks like it's gonna be maybe some cheesy fun, so we'll see. Next up, Stigmata. I have been wanting to add this one to the collection for a very, very long time. Right, and I believe the only way that you can actually get the Blu-ray of this film is like, I believe like a Spain import, so like a Region B, um, which is very, very expensive. I know even on eBay, it goes for like 30 bucks or so. Um, but I'm happy to have this in the collection. Actually, the second location I went to, they had literally like four copies of this. So I went through them all to, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, see which one was in best condition. But I am super happy to have this one in the collection. It's been a long time since I've seen this one. But I do remember enjoying this one very, very much. So happy to add that to the collection. Next up, I did go ahead and pick up Sexy Beast with a... Uh, uh, Ben Kingsley. Um, I always enjoy his work, you guys. Um, so it should be interesting to see him as a gangster. Um, it's also some sort of like a heist flick. Um, but yeah, Sexy Beast, kind of an interesting name for a gangster flick. All right, so next up, I did pick up Coyote Summer. This one I really got for Vanessa Shaw right here from Hocus Pocus. Um, and basically, this is kind of like a, a horse movie, I guess, uh, kind of, you know, about ranch life and, uh, horses and whatnot. So, you know, I thought I'd go ahead and check that one out. Then I did go ahead and pick up Regarding Henry with Harrison Ford. I do enjoy me some Harrison Ford. Uh, I do believe this one has a Blu-ray release, but uh, I wanted to just go ahead and check it out before I decide to like upgrade or anything. This one was a must. I mean, simply for Shia LaBeouf and Amy Smart, The Battle of Shaker Heights, uh, the Project Greenlight movie. So this one definitely just kind of seemed interesting. Shia LaBeouf, he's still pretty young there, kind of like around, you know, like the time of Holes, uh, maybe even Stevens, I don't know. Um, but anywho, I enjoy Amy Smart as well. But this one, basically, he has, it's kind of about like his troubled life and how he loses himself in this fantasy world where he um, like recreates these epic battles from World War II. So it sounded very interesting, uh, intrigued me very, very much. So I cannot wait to check that one out. And then I did go ahead and pick up this comedy here, caught my interest, called Kitchen Stories. I also did go ahead and pick up All You've Got. I'm not sure, but I think this might be the only film that Sierra has been in. Could be wrong. I do love me some uh, Adrian Bailon right there. I loved her and everything that she's been in and stuff, you know, like from Disney and like Cheetah Girls and whatnot. So we got All You've Got. It's a uh, volleyball flick. Then I did go ahead and pick up this movie Shorts. I kind of remember hearing about this one, um, but I went ahead and got it for the kiddos. So it's Shorts, The Adventures of the Wishing Rock. Um, so it looks like it's gonna be some sort of like family friendly flick. So, I mean, we'll see what the kiddos think of it. Um, then I did go ahead and pick up Ghosts on Mars. Thought this was a cool find. It's been a while since I've seen this one. Um, and then even Cowgirls Get the Blues with Uma Thurman. Definitely wanted to go ahead and get this one. Um, it just looks, I mean, I love Uma Thurman. Like, who doesn't? Um, but it just looked like a fun little flick. Not necessarily like a Western, but, you know, Cowgirls and stuff like that. So, got that one. 
This one right here was a must. I don't have any Beavis and Butthead in the collection. I really need to see about getting the movies, uh, but it's the best of Beavis and Butthead and Buttoween, which that's kind of fun to say. Um, and then Beavis and Butthead do Christmas. And then there's like 10 like other episodes on here. So I thought that was pretty cool. So this next one I was actually pretty happy to come across. I have never seen this film, but everybody raves about it. And that is this film, Nine to Five. I do know that the only way you can get this is through a, uh, like the Blu-ray is through a, uh, I think it's like a Spanish import or something like that, like from Spain. Um, but you know, like the title and everything is like in Spanish or something like that. Um, but yes, yeah, so we got Nine to Five. Curious to see what the hype is about. And then I did go ahead and pick up Across the Tracks. Again, this one, as I mentioned in the store, the name totally sounds so familiar. So I'm not sure if I've seen this one, but I will definitely have to, uh, you know, give it a visit and uh, see if I like remember anything. I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then I enjoyed me some Nikki Reed, so I definitely wanted to go ahead and get this one, Cherry Crush. And then the last DVD that I got is this one, uh, called RPM with uh, David Arquette and Famke Jensen. I'm not sure if this is like a sort of like a racing movie or like an action film. I don't really know what to expect. Again, a lot of these that I got were just blind buys. So yeah. Anywho, that's it for Goodwill, but I am going to go ahead and throw in just three little films that I picked up recently a few weeks ago at uh, my local Value Village, aka Savers. Um, so I did go ahead and pick up Tucker and Dale versus Evil. This just looks like some cheesy fun. Uh, I've heard lots of people talk about this one. I kind of never really had any interest in it, but I do now. And so I was actually pretty stoked to find this there because it's not every day that you see this one out in the wild, that's for sure. Um, so Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Um, then I did go ahead and just to, you know, be a completionist, I went ahead and picked up The Sandlot Heading Home. It is the third film in this series. I actually did really like the second one. It was pretty decent, but of course the first one will always have that special place in my heart. But uh, The Sandlot Heading Home, this one, if I remember correctly, I think they make a team out of a... Uh, Squints kids and stuff like that. So uh, I'm curious to check this one out and uh, show it to the kiddos. Hopefully they'll like it. And then the last film that I did get is uh, this film that I got mostly for Jesse Eisenberg and it's called Roger Dodger. And basically this is his uncle. He's kind of like a successful kind of ladies man. It basically says a comic look at the male ego and the art of manipulating women. And so he goes to his uncle for advice, um, you know, cause he wants to like lose his virginity and you know, no more about girls and stuff like that so I don't know it just looks like it's gonna be a fun time pretty funny so we'll see so that is everything for today you guys that is all my pickups thank you so so much for watching join the family if you have not and I'll see you in my next video bye